what's up everybody welcome back to my twist of life tv with poetry i am poetry you are here for another traveling talk tuesday no it's not nighttime it's just dark out here because it's raining and i'm on my way to work and i can't ride with the, like the dome light on and shit so y'all just gonna see me in the darkness darkness everybody darkness you know um i'm running late so i'm about to hit this toll roll again for the third day in a row <sighs> y'all I done got to Florida or something. I don't know what the hell was wrong with me and my family. I got up this morning, uh, get ready to take the dog out or whatever. And um, my front door was unlocked. Unlocked. Like I was white and living in a good white neighborhood. Or, or I live somewhere where the rich folks live or something. I don't know what the hell was wrong with me. I don't sleep with unlocked doors. I don't sleep. I, no shade to my white folks. But I know a lot of my white friends, they sleep with unlocked doors. I don't know what the fuck that shit is about. They so trusting. And uh, I noticed the people in Florida is just as trusting. Y'all know, baby, I got up and saw that damn chain off that door. And the door had locked itself. I nearly lost my, my damn mind. Okay. The first time I came down on this toll the other day, I threw my money in and the money hit the wall <laughs> and went on the floor. No, I did not stop and get out and pick that shit up and put it in the toll thing. I rolled the fuck on through. They gonna send me a bill, they gonna send me a bill. That's all I can say. Damn, they brought, they brought, uh, tail lights is bright on me. Give me that red glow. <laughs> so, yesterday, I sat down and had a talk with the, the head boss. It was a random talk because I've told y'all I was going to the union and I was filing all kind of grievances left and right, but I had been taken off the schedule so I couldn't talk to the union and the day that I got called in, the union rep wasn't there, um, which was Friday. And I don't think he worked, he didn't work on Saturday either, so I didn't get to talk to him. So um, when I did see him, I was like, you know what, I still um, don't have that conversation with you because I know I got 14 days in which to file a grievance people coming up on me on the right hand side turn my lights on turn your light on so um i was like yeah i, I still want to get with you dog i still want to get with you it looks so weird i'm like i'm looking at the the camera it looked daylight it is black as heck out here the sky is dark but it looked daylight on the camera so that's cool so anyway the, the uh power of photography and imagery and shit like that so he come call me in and he basically repeated everything that I said to okay it's this one girl that I think is cool as a mug but she best friends with the two of the girls who get a lot of favoritism up in the office right so a lot of the stuff that I find out about I found out from her because the supervisors talk to these two girls all the time they they get buddy buddy with them and they share other people's business with these two girls so she always get the, the tail end of the information, which I don't know why she don't find that odd, considering all the it's four of them, all the four girls that was uh are the tightest. He talks to she's the only one that's black. I'm gonna tell y'all, she's the only one that's black, but she don't get that inside information. She got to get it secondhand from the other girls. Um, but. The conversation I had with her because I was having a conversation because I thought, you know, I figured she was cool beans. I talked to her all the time. We laugh and we joke all the time. And when she came back off of her three week vacation, she seemed to know everything that was going on in the office. She knew about my my out my clothing situation. Um, she's the one that told me that um, people are being told not to speak to me in the office because I'm stirring up shit. I don't know if I told y'all that. Yeah, she told me that people are being told not to speak to me in the office because I'm stirring up shit. And come to find out she wasn't lying. People are being told this. At least three people that I'm aware of, four, four people that I'm aware of have been told not to talk to me. It'd be in their best interest not to talk to me because I'm stirring up shit. Basically, I'm letting them know what the fuck is going on in the contract. That's what's going on. <laughs> and if I see some shit wrong, I talk about it. And this girl, um, 
she didn't want me to say anything about the outfits because she's one of the people too that also wear workout outfits. And she's like, you know, we should pick our battles and that's probably not one that's really worth fighting. Like, you know, I just didn't want you to be mad. And that's why I didn't tell you about um, him saying not to uh, talk to you because I knew you was going to get mad about it. And then she told me that they had a whole conversation with her via text message to say she need to talk to me. I guess she need to talk to me because we black and we cool. I guess it's like as if she could t talk, teach me a lesson of some sort. Okay. But she didn't want to tell me that either. Only reason why she told me that is because the other uh, girl that normally works her out, she's, um, she was one of the people who was told not to talk to me because I'm giving her too much, I'm starting up too much shit. And she said, yeah, and they told me some shit about you too. So that's what she told it to her. And so she was like, wait a minute. So this was, she starts spilling all the beans then because her name got pulled into this drama, you know. Which was hilarious to me. Oh, I'm in traffic. I'm in traffic. I can't text my job to tell them I'm in traffic though. Because it'll turn off the camera. Mm. I mean, we ain't moving. It's raining. It's pretty bad out. Okay, so, well. See, I just wanted, I, should, I probably could have took the regular street if I knew that it was going to do this. Because this, I'm like, this is the time I would have been. Yeah, I, I, I could have took the regular street. Damn it. Wasting my damn money. So, um, so basically, when he sat down and had this conversation with me, though, everything he kept saying to me about the work hours, about how I feel like I'm being treated, he just came to me and said, you know, I wouldn't want you to feel like this. You know, and you should be working more hours because of this. And it was the exact, almost word for word when I said it. I said, okay. Hmm. Well, in the end, in the end, I'm supposed to be getting everything that I that I'm that I'm concerned about. But I think it's only me. How about them apples? Nobody else that's complaining, he ain't gonna fix that shit. He's still just gonna fuck over the rest of them. And I'm I'm about ready to let them because these motherfuckers don't want to stand up and speak up for their damn self. But they always wait for that one motherfucking mortar to put their neck out and then want to reap the benefits of that shit. Mm -mm. You feeling like you was wrong too, then say something. Don't just let me do the speaking for you. And then I'm the one that nobody should talk to. Yeah, I'm probably the one that people should talk to, you dumb motherfuckers. But anyway, so that's how that went at work. And um, I'm at work. I'm, I'm on a schedule again. Um, two people got let go. Just last Friday. Okay. Y'all know I talk about my job all the time, right? And I complain all the motherfuckers out. I did a whole video Friday. A random ride at work. And I said I wasn't going to complain for the rest of that day. <laughs> Starting at 8 a.m. to 8 a.m. the next morning. That shit didn't happen. I'm so glad I didn't put that red and red video up. Y'all would have been like, this bitch a liar. <laughs> that shit didn't happen because as soon as I got to work, I learned that two people got fired. Two people got let go. Well, one guy, his, 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 um, had, he had to go back home to uh, the state where he originally from because he had some family issues that could not be resolved here from Florida. And from what I was hearing, he was asking to be transferred and the boss was like, nah. Uh, he wasn't going to assist him with that transfer, but he had to go like now. It wasn't something he could wait on. Um, so, therefore, he had to leave. So, the other guy I know for certain got fired. I need to call him. This is my homeboy. Um, that he got fired. So, they needed people Friday, so I got called into work Friday. Um, but what, the thing that is like shocking to me Okay, back in St. Louis, in my office, people stay for the long haul. Every office that I worked in, since okay, I, even though my post, the the the, uh, the the person that was over us was a, a bitch, those are the people who kind of rotated. We had a new head honcho every nine months, it seemed like. But the worker bees been there for years. 10, 15, 20, 30, some of them 40 years. They've been there since the 70s. That's how long some of the people's been there. They did, the turnover rate wasn't that high. 
if people left, it's because they moved to another city like I did. Like, if I hadn't moved to another city, I'd probably still be at that same office. Um, but yeah, that's most time when people left, it's because they moved to another city. The only time I've seen people get fired, one guy got fired for stealing, stealing information out of there. And, like, shit, you don't even get fired for not coming to work. Now nah, I think about it. Um, who else got fired? Another person got fired for threatening another em employee, but then they hired that person back and just put him at another office. That's all they did. So getting fired is something that don't happen. I've been at this mug since September 14th of 2018 at this particular office. Nine people have gone. Nine. J. I'm gonna say the initials. J. Uh, he quit. Then A got fired. She got fired because of some uh, repeated uh, auto violations. And like I said, we drive our own vehicle, so she got fired because of that. M quit. Uh, Z quit. M another M quit. Um, and A quit, J got fired, Y got fired, three more people, it's one more person, I'm missing one more person, oh and D, nine people got fired, since September, since September y'all, I don't even know what half of these people's stories are, so I know that they all was going through some shit too. I know the reason why everybody got fired got fired, but the people who just decided to quit, <laughs> I don't know all of their stories. I know the one of the M's was scared that she was going to get fired because they were harassing her about how long she, it takes to do her job, and like the uh, the head honcho said to me yesterday, like, which I already know was in the contract. I don't care what time y'all get started and get done as long as y'all doing you know under the time that uh the total time that's supposed to be allowed on that assignment which we we have like a evaluated times on our assignments yeah i i know our contract says we can start as early as the sun rises and be out as late as the sun sets as long as we you know like for my my assignment that they keep putting me on i'm supposed to finish it within 8.8 .8 hours as long as i don't go over that 8.8 .8 hours it don't matter what time I start and finish. You know what I'm saying? But they, that ain't how they've been operating. They've been harassing the fuck out of people. Like, you take it too long because such and such does it fast. Just because such and such does it fast don't mean that such and such do the right. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. So anyway, yeah, that's all it would work. So, um, Vegas baby is coming up. I'm I'm ready. I'm I'm ready to go. I'm excited about it. I'm just I think I'm just ready to get out of the city. Um, Kina and her driving man. Florida got so many damn stipulations. She got to do this. She got to turn over backwards. She got to draw blood. All this before she can even get on the road to drive. And I'm like, ain't no way y'all making all these people in this city do that because these bitches here can't drive. Ain't no damn way. I'm almost ready to take her back to St. Louis and let her take her driver's test there. And then transfer her shit over. That's what I'm almost ready to do. I'm like, my goodness. It's just too much. I'm riding here, y'all. Just like my front door, my pants are unzipped. If my door is open. What the hell? I don't know when it happened. I've been walking around like that all day. Shit ain't nobody said nothing. Well, I ain't been nowhere but the house and the car. But still. My, my fly open. <laughs> it's together down. But I was so I know my front door was open. Did I skip over this story? My front door was open. I was about to wake everybody up in the house. Like, what the hell? So, um, yesterday. Oh my goodness, I was tired, y'all. I, I was tired. I think that my woman's time must be coming up or something because I was exhausted for no fucking reason. Um, I got home and um rewatched. The Walking Dead, because I thought I had missed some shit. This little motherfucker on this little bike, you about to get fucked up, homie. It just crept up on my bumper like, ooh, in the rain. So, um, yeah, I was 
so tired, man. I didn't even feel like chewing last night, and I'm so serious. I was not joking. Like, I was hungry as hell. But I was like, I don't even want my mouth to move. Like, I didn't want to chew, so I damn sure didn't want to talk. I watched the whole Walking Dead over again. I took all my notes, and I sat there for like two hours. Like, I don't feel like moving my lips. I barely moved my fingers long enough to type the message that I don't want to talk. I was like, I was so over being involved in society of social media yesterday. Look, you hooker hoe. The fuck is wrong with y'all dumbass people? No, bitch, you ain't getting over here. Should have figured that shit out this morning before you got on the damn highway. Oh, my gosh. This is where accidents happen. Dumb motherfuckers like this. I'm telling you, I be feel, this is how I be feeling when I'm driving. <sighs> Lord, please don't let this happen. But if somebody reckless enough to bump my dog on car, not even get to a full blown on accident. Just bump it. I'm getting out, dragging them out that out they driver's side, and I'm beating the cowboy fuck up out of them. That's how I've been feeling while I've been driving. Which, which that you know, don't please don't let that happen to me. By the grace of God, please don't let that happen. Cause I feel like fighting. This is a woo. Oh, oh, I need to get in that lane. See how patient I was? And then I turn on my blinker, I look over my shoulder, and then I change lanes. That ain't how these motherfuckers drive. Mm -mm. They just jump their ass over there all willy-nilly. Help us. Got 13 minutes to get to work. I'm gonna be a little bit late. It's raining. <sighs> okay, so, the assignment that I ain't supposed to be on that he keep putting me on, I ain't gotta do that today. I am inside a, a facility majority of my day today. I'm not driving my vehicle. Which, you know, it's kind of, this what kind of throws me off. The people who are not driving stop to stop, they get a government vehicle. They get to go park that motherfucking government vehicle by whatever building or facility that they're attending that day and sit there for six hours or four to five hours, not that damn long, about four hours while they do their work and their, and their vehicle just parked outside. But the ones who have to use their vehicles to go to every stop, we got to use our own damn cars. Make that make sense to me. It don't. It don't make sense at all. Okay, I got 12 minutes to get down this street. I think it'll take me 15 minutes. It looks really bright in this camera, y'all. Y'all see, I took down my little twigs that I had, and I hate the curl pattern that came out. They too small, and they have no... I was, as you as you probably could see by the, the, the twigs I had in there, I didn't have no hang time. That just tell you that chick cut my heart hurt too damn short. So, and it, it ain't growing back even. Look at that. And she cut it all, and this right here, and then this one in the front now is an inch past it. It's just a mess. So I need to wash my dome and re-twist it because I don't like this curl pattern. It's too tight. It's too tight. Got me out here looking like Rachel Dozen's all by the head. I don't like that. Alright, come on, people. Y'all could do it. Y'all could do it. Drive like I got some sense and still get there in the expeditious amount of time. That's how we could do. So, um, did I tell y'all, me and Kina, we went down to Disney Springs? I did tell y'all that. Or I didn't. I'm not sure. If I didn't tell y'all that, it's because it was in that random ride video that I didn't put up. And it has since been deleted from my phone, so I can't even load it now. So me and Keena, we went down to Disney Springs. We took um, my mom with me that one day. But we went back to go get our facials. And got some facials done at the Origins Bar. Uh, got me a little Italian Icy. I love Italian Icy. I got one yesterday, too, from... Um, what's, where was I at? Rallies or checkers, depending on where you're at in the part of the world. I got me an Italian ice. It had this lemon one. Oh my goodness, so tart, so good. At the same damn time, I didn't need none of that sugar. Didn't need none of it. Sugar is my damn addiction. Oh my goodness. I say I don't use drugs. I just a lot. I, I eat sugar. Ugh. Sugar is an addiction that I, I wish I could shake, but I love the way it tastes. I guess that's how drug users are too. They wish they could shake it, but they love the way it make them feel. But, oof, yeah. I've been eating a lot of sugar. And I was supposed to cut out on my sugar this month. 
and I don't know when I try to cut stuff I, I always do this I don't know why I always do this when I cut stuff out I crave it more so when I get it I go overboard so I don't need to cut it out I just need to back off you know back it up a little bit got nine minutes to get to work I don't know exactly where I'm at as far as work is concerned and the distance because I'm going a different way today um, than before and we'll see um, what else am I planning I need to go in here and put in my time off for my June trip for my birthday Kena got hers approved so now I can go ahead and put mine in because it I mean, I was going with it without Keena. I just, I'm, I hate to tell my baby that, but I was going with it without her. But um, <laughs> she, hers is approved, so now I need to get mine in the system. Um, the Janet Jackson Vegas trip, I'm so serious about that, y'all. Her last day is August 10th, so I want to go during those last uh, few days, in, which is the first week of August, those last few days in Vegas, and make it a... a a, a YouTube meetup trip, whatever. I'm not paying for nobody's expenses. Um, I don't know if, like, if I want to get hotels or should I do like an Airbnb type of situation? That I don't know. I need to really like put that down to see what's best because we don't know each other. You know what I'm saying? We don't know each other, but being in an Airbnb together may be a way for us to get to know each other. So that's the thing. But. I don't know if y'all bitches steal. I don't know who fart in they sleep. Who snore extra loud. You know, there's some stuff that you got to consider um, when you got a bunch of damn people in the house together. And I think as of right now, we only had one male who was considering going. He might have been just joking. But as of right now, I think it's only one. And the rest of just in a bunch of women. So... People could be on their periods and all kind of stuff going on. You got to consider all these things when you're bringing a bunch of women together in an Airbnb. Um, bathroom use time. Like, I don't know how long it take for you to get your hair done and me to get mine done. And I got to go take a, you know, use the bathroom. <laughs> do You know, do my daily duties and stuff like that. And then I bunk up the bathroom and the other people I go in there. I, I can't breathe when other people use to the, do their daily duties and I come right behind them. So I don't know how it'll be if for people for me. I know this might be a little bit TMI, but I'm going to tell you anyway, anyway, this particular week, I told y'all I've been killing the sugar. I don't know why, but I've been killing sugar. And this particular week, my daily duty's been, uh, it ain't been aromatic. It's, it's been a stench. I'm like, what the fuck did I eat? That's what, my, that's what I say when I come out the bathroom. I'm like, what the fuck did I eat? But I'm glad that I got it out of my system. I don't need to get no, get no colonic or no shit like that because... My colon still work properly. Y'all know that your, your body would naturally push out toxins and stuff like that. It's when you get older and it has trouble pushing it out all the way. And you might need to get at least once a cleaning once a year, get some, get some tea and just drink it and let that flush hold through every once in a while. But I don't need to get no like professional colonic or nothing like that. But I was like, something ain't right my insides. Something ain't right. So we might have those type of situations if you bring all these women and peoples to an Airbnb that don't know each other. And then like say, and then um like we all laughing, ki ki ki, on on YouTube together. We get together face to face, and we may not really like each other much. And I'm not one to be fake. You gonna know I don't like your monkey ass. <laughs> Tell you right off the cuff. I don't like you. You're getting on my damn nerves. It's gonna be like a real housewives of YouTube moment up there. But I don't know. So we gonna work it out. So maybe I'll just try to look for a hotel with a group rate. <laughs> And then maybe um, we might think about maybe sharing a room if you wanted to do that with one person. But putting every, I don't know, I don't know, I'll figure it out. And putting everybody in the house, if we can have our own sleeping space, might be good. Because right now, I think it's only four of us that have confirmed that they want to go. Myself, Sean for sure, Ty, and I think Journey are the only four people I know that confirm for sure that they want to do this Vegas trip. And if you're not clear about what I'm talking about, we're talking about going to see Janet Jackson in Las Vegas doing her residency in August. That's the time frame. As I get more and more information and details put together, I'm going to start dropping it on the community board. Um, but I don't plan on collecting any money from anyone unless I get the Airbnb. Because like I said, I'm not paying for that shit all by my damn self. <laughs> if I get the Airbnb, then there will be um, payment collected. 
to help pay for the damn Airbnb because you got to pay for that shit up front. Um, which is another reason why getting a hotel might be a better option. Because then everybody pay for their own shit. Okay. So, um, yeah. I'll figure it out. I will figure it out. Um, I think Love Fuller may be going with me and Keena to Europe, though. That might be cool. She likes to travel. It's ignorance. Ignorance to the 10th power. I got four minutes to get to work, and I think I'm seven minutes away. It's like I said, I may be a little late. Yeah, I'm making it look like my car is a mess. I still have not cleaned my car out, y'all. It's a mess. It's a mess. So, um, if y'all have not filed y'all taxes yet, <laughs> it's good. It's coming up on that time, y'all. April 15th, it's coming up quickly. If you're not finna file yet, go ahead and file your extension. I usually file an extension because I usually don't file to the end of the year, but I think I'm gonna file early this year only because I want to do my Europe trip. And I want to make sure I have some dinero uh, on hand and still have some dinero in the bank when I come back in case I overspend when I'm there. Um, like I said, I was going to Greece. That was the original plan for my birthday. And Greece costs too fucking much to fly there. So we conceded to go to London instead, which I've always wanted to go to London as well. <laughs> That's my home girl right there. I always wanted to go to London instead. So, um, that's the girl that worked with me, Mary. Um, so I, um, okay, so she late too. <laughs> so, um, so what I, my plan was, was going to go to London and then fly over to Greece. Because I think it costs like a hundred dollars round trip on Ryan Air to fly over to Greece. And just go check out Greece for maybe a day or two. But, Everybody I know that's been there keeps saying you need more time than that. You need more, longer than because we're gonna take off for a week. Y'all, I don't know how y'all do it, but y'all take off vacations for two to two, three, two weeks to four a month at a time. I ain't got that type of vacation time. <laughs> Even when I was earning leave at work, I didn't have that much of vacation time because I took vacation all the time. So I didn't have no month built up to go take off work. And so I'm taking off nine days because I'm going to count two of those for travel. That's nine days that I'm not going to be getting paid anything. And no, I can't do no two weeks to a month unless no, unless I'm got a job over there or if I got extra income coming in, like tell more friends to come watch my channel or some shit like that. I want to thank all the new uh, people who have joined in my channel. I, I picked up like about seven or eight new people in the past week. Hey, hey, girl, hey. And if you're not a girl, hey, anyway, you know what I'm saying? Um, welcome. Thank you for coming on, being over here. Um, I'm supposed to be calling everybody here. My life is, I'll be forgetting. <laughs> I'll be forgetting. So, thank y'all for coming. Um, I hope y'all stick around. I hope y'all find something around here that y'all like and love. Y'all can see that I am inconsistent as fuck. But I'm getting better. I think I'm getting better. Um, just some channel news. Um, Lady V had posted up that she uh, heard that power was not coming on until like late September or November or something like that. I can't remember which one she said. Um, there is no official word on the power release date yet. They did have a slowdown in production because of the uh, the, the murder that happened on set last year. So, uh, but they're still projecting that it's going to come out this summer. They usually don't come out to July anyway, so it's probably still going to come out this summer. Um, Queen Sugar is coming back on June 12th. I don't have a release date on uh, Green Leaf yet. We already know the Game of Thrones and Real Housewives of Potomac is coming back next month. You ragged bitch. I feel like I just I needed an orange just to throw it at that motherfucker. Like um, you ragged. Well, y'all know what movie that's from. Y'all know what movie that's from. Anyway, um, so then what else we got going on? Handmaid's Tale. It's not coming on now into June, June 5th. It normally comes on in April. I don't have any words yet on when Harlots come on. Harlots usually come on after Handmaid's Tale go off. and But that's usually in July. So I'm not sure when Harlots is coming on now. But I know it's coming back. Um, 3% normally comes on in April. That's next month. I ain't got no word on them yet either. So I don't know. 
Uh, but just just keep an eye out on the um, board. Oh, we got parking. What the fuck? Just keep an eye out on the board. And we'll see. Oh, look at this hair. Yeah. Keep it out on the board and we will see um, exactly whether we need to um, I'll keep y'all updated on the updates. That's pretty much what I'm saying. Alright. Talk to y'all later. I'm at the J-O-B. Peace out.